In this little episode I will show you how to improve the way the hook link is attached to the feeder and in turn this little improvement will produce you many many more bites. First of all let's have a quick look how most of the time hook links are attached onto the inline feeders. So I will take my main line, thread it, thread my feeder on it and then we'll make a small loop at the end. Right, this time I have two side dead connector, so I will attach my main line to one of the sides just like that. Then I will slide the sleeve to the other side and onto the other hook or the end of the same like plastic element I will put my hook link on and now we joint mainline to hook link using this little plastic device so everything looks not bad we have our hook link attached to the feeder and the best thing about this little attachments are that you can change the hook link very quickly but the disadvantage is that the hook bait doesn't have very much of a movement it can move to some directions like it depends it will depend on the position where the connector will be but most of the time it won't be able to spin like 360 if you like so and it means that quite often the fish won't be able to hook itself because the hook bait will be at some kind of very weird angle. So once the fish will come to suck the bait in it will lift the hook bait off the floor and then the, the, the tension of the hook link itself will spring it away from the fish's mouth and and uh, that's happening because we don't have enough movement just where the hook link is attached to the feeder so there is much better way how to do it i will quickly show you the steps are more or less the same at least at the start so i will grab my feeder and slide it onto my main line Just like that. Then I will pu put my feeder aside for a little bit. Then on to the end of my main line I will attach a swivel which has a very very big ring in it. But before attaching my swivel onto the line I have to make sure that my swivel goes well inside of the feeder. In this instance it's not going freely into the feeder but it actually going quite nicely and you can pull it out very easy. So in this case I was lucky I managed to match the size of the swivel it to be perfect for this feeder. But actually it's tucking a little bit too much that I would like so I will squeeze a little bit the end or the eye of the swivel so it would be a little bit smaller just using a pair of pliers and we'll test it again now it goes very nicely 
that's really perfect that is what you want now I can attach the same swivel onto my main line I will use greeners not for it As every single knot, don't forget to wet it just before pulling it tight. I can leave a little bit longer tag end, just probably half a centimeter or so. And then I will grab my method feeder. And I have a very nice setup where I can attach my hook link onto. So I will use a loop to loop connection here. We have to remove my hook bit before putting this hook link on. Now we have our hook link attached to very big ring and ring is inside of the swivel so it means that we have lots and lots of movements to every single direction up and down around so it means then the fish will come in the area to pick up your bait it will hook itself very easy because the hook will be able to spin and twist and uh, it won't get away because we have lots and lots of movements in this area where the hook bait uh, hook link is attached to the feeder itself that's really perfect elasticated method feeders most of the time are even worse in that aspect because they have a small ring at the end of the elastic where the hook link should be attached to. I will attach my hook link to this little ring so you would be able to see what I mean. Right, we have our hook link attached to the feeder and as you can see the hook link can't move freely at all and sometimes it will be at very very weird angles and the hooking properties of this rig won't be as good. I'm not saying that you won't catch but you will miss on a lot of fish. And how to improve it. The steps are more or less the same. We want to replace this little ring with swivel and ring as we did just before. So I will cut off the small ring now. Then I will pull through the elastic out of the feeder. Then I will grab one of those special swivels and big guide and the rings rather attached to the swivel and before putting uh, the swivel onto the elastic I have to check whether this little 
swivel will go inside. In this case it goes perfectly and the ring actually stops it. That's really very very good. But as I did demonstrate just before, if if the eye of the swivel would be in the way and the swivel wouldn't go fully inside of the feeder, all I would need to do is just to squeeze it a little bit, not much, just a little bit using a pair of pliers. Now we can safely attach our elastic onto the swivel. Obviously you want to use as little elastic as possible for this knot. Simple knot is good enough for elastic because it kinda digs it into itself and the knot will be very strong anyway. Also it's very important to wet this knot before pulling it tight otherwise you will damage the elastic when pulling it down. And now when we want our knot or the tag end at the right position we just hold both tag ends and just set the knot properly. Then we'll cut off the tag end probably couple millimeter, me, couple millimeters away from the knot. Just like that. Maybe a little bit even shorter. Now all I have to do is to put my elastic back and I won't be able to do that without any help so I will just use a very small piece of line with a loop just to help me to pull the elastic inside. And now let's take our old hook link and attach to this little ring. Using loop to loop again here. I will make this little tag end even shorter because seems it's getting in the way a little bit. Let's try now. Yeah, now it's much better. So, and we have our hook link attached to the feeder via very big ring. And now we have lots and lots of movements. So hook link can spin to any direction and pretty much 360 degrees. And again it means that no matter from which direction the fish would come to pick your hook bait and your hook, the hook would be able to turn and hook the fish. That's really perfect. That's it for today guys. I hope this little tip will be useful in your own angling. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.